What's going on everybody? It's your boy Sean. This is a back again with another video. This time, uh, instead of, you know, doing my usual reactions, I'm going to go and go back into clothing and sneakers and I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys my little clothing haul. It's actually in this box right next to me. It's off screen that you can't see, but it's a lot of stuff that I picked up in the month of January, including this Jet Life hoodie. I don't know if you can see it really well but yeah i picked this up in january um so yeah let's go ahead and get into it all right so like i said you know i got like this jet life hoodie um got how much i paid for it. i think it's either 75 or 80 bucks but this is one of the hoodies that i picked up you know shout out to currency um hopefully you guys can see it i also got this like i said got this color and out of the box i actually got the black one as well so uh, sizing in at least most of my hoodies and my shirts that are actually in this box are all mediums. So, you know, there you go right there. That's how it looks in black. Nothing on the back. So those are the first two items. Let's go ahead and get into the next one, which we'll stick with Jet Life. Since, um, got a lot of Jet Life stuff, but also got this. You might as well say it's kind of like a little varsity sad jacket, you know, hopefully you can see it. I, I have some stuff in the B-roll for you guys, but you know, a nice little jet light jacket. Got the patches on the side right here. Um, and then, pretty much jet light written in back, uh, written on the back in uh, blue and yellow. And of course, you can see it's green. So, you know, I had to pick this up. It's actually pretty dope. Like I said, this one's a size medium. And I think I paid, I paid 225 for this jacket. I'm mad that I couldn't get the red one as well. But hey, you know, it is what it is, man. At least I got one. At least I got one of them. So um, yeah. So let's go ahead and keep keep on going with some more jet life items. All right, y'all. So like I said, I got some more jet life uh, items. Here's one that's actually, you know, I haven't opened it up yet, but it's a it's a crew neck pretty simple I, I like the off you know the little I guess you want to call this powder blue color or whatever but you know I had to cop this one this one was pretty dope as you see it got the jet life in, mul in multiple colors outlined so you know I'll probably throw, the, throw this on with my turbo greens because of the you know the T and the jet life um, I can put it actually with many more pairs of shoes that I got but probably more so with the with the turbo greens but you know this one was pretty dope. It's nothing on the back. Like I said, I got this one, size medium. And I also got it in yellow. Like I said, pretty dope, pretty smooth, you know. Like I said, some of these would be in the B-roll, some of these may not, because, you know, I got multiple colors of certain things. So, you know, that's pretty much all of the Jet Life stuff. I think I have one more jacket that I got and then I'm gonna go into go into some shoes and some boots and then I'll go back into clothing from places like H&M, Sephora, I mean that's Sephora, from H&M, um, Urban Outfitters, I did buy some cologne from, some, from Sephora but I'll say that for another video and that's pretty much it so go ahead and get right into it. All right, so like I said, this is the this is the last jacket that you will see, or yeah, jacket and hoodie. Um, this one's a Sherpa polo jacket. I don't know. What I mean. There you go. So you can see. I forgot how much I paid for this jacket, but I got it for Urban Outfitters. Um, it was on it was on sale. I remember that. So I think it was over two hundred dollars, and I paid like one hundred. I think it was somewhere in there. I think it's like 100, 150. I can't remember. But um, yeah, man, this jacket, it, it, screamed, it screamed out to me, man. And it also has a hood on top. Um, I actually have a pair of Laney 1s and Laney 5s. Um, so I could throw this with. I'm still trying to get the Laney 14s. So, but you know, hey, you got the pockets. Pockets on the side, you know, it's full zip up. You know, it's, it's like I said, it's sharper material, so it's, it's 
pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? I had to, I had to get this one when I seen it. Matter of fact, they sent me an email on this one saying it was on sale, so I was like, yeah, might as well go ahead and cop it, man. So that's it for all the hoodies and jackets, you know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below of those outfits. So, um, so let's go ahead and get into the sneakers and. Oops, one pair of shoes right here. As you can see, it's the black Nike box. Okay, oh, upside down. Black Nike box. So, um, size 10 and a half. These are the OBJ 720s. I think these are the kings of the night. And I got them, well, I want to say like 130. You know, retail on these was like 200. So I'm glad I waited and got that, you know. This guys, you see the stock is tag on these guys. I had to get them, man. I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of OBJ. He's from where I'm from. So, you know, and these things are hella comfortable, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, these, I can't talk, I can't talk, you know, to you so much about, you know, how comfortable these shoes are. Like, they are hella comfortable. I was thinking that, you know, they'll probably be like, uh, Presto, some of the Presto that I have over time, like, you know, my feet start hurt, but I wore, I actually wore these out in, well, no, I take that back, I wore the alumni ones, which is the LSU colorway, and I was out for like four or five hours, feet didn't hurt, not one bit, it felt like I was walking out air the whole entire time, so yeah, man, the OBJ, like I said, I think these are the kings of the, kings of the night, and I had to get them, man. So this is the first pair of shoes that I got. Um, other pairs I actually forgot to get out of the closet, but they are two pairs of ones. So uh, I'll go and get those in a second. But I'm gonna switch over to the boots that I got, which they're all right here. Um, they're not too. There's nothing too spectacular about them because uh, they're just Chelsea boots. I know you probably won't be able to see all three boxes that I stacked up, but you know, they're all different colorways. You got the brown ones right here in this box. And, I'm, and these were on sale on Urban Outfitters. I think I paid, what, 69 for all three pairs. So that's the brown. Um, the olives, as you see, still in the, still in the plastic. Olives. I had to get I had to get all three of these man, but yeah, six there was sixty nine a piece. I remember that, and that's the cheapest I ever I've seen Chelsea's in a long long time. Usually, you know, they start off at a hundred, so to get them for sixty nine, it's either yeah sixty nine. Um, and I think one of these pairs, I think the olives was sixty four, and as you see the the tan ones, I've already worn the brown ones. That's why those were out of the plastic, but you know. I see the tan ones. You know, as it's still a little bit cold here in Atlanta, you know, these are some good shoes I can still wear and then plus I won't get too many wears out of them right now. Cause uh, you know, it's getting it's the weather is kinda up and down, so you know, I mean some people wear Chelsea's all year round. I'm not one of those people. But, you know, hey, I can wear a couple I can wear a couple of times for the rest of this month of February, maybe some in March and then warm up and you know, I just keep them away for the next fall winter season. But yeah, those are my Chelsea's. That was a pair of Nikes. And I got two pair of Jordans that are in the closet behind me. So let me go ahead and get those. All right, y'all. So I'm back. I got the two um, pairs of Jordans. I'll start off with these first. Um, Shout out back for 3.0s, man. I had to, I had to get them in their store. With the story with these is that uh, I actually was able to get three pairs on release day, uh, but I decided, you know, people was, you know, saying was talking to me in the mall, just like they were stopping me and was like, hey, you know, I give you this for this pair, give you this for this pair. So, you know, I ended up selling, or well, I ended up selling two to people walking out of the stores when I did one. Um, I had sold to my boy uh, Retro Rico and he went and sold them so you know I was just like dang so I just went ahead and bought I went ahead and bought another pair of stock eggs man I had to get I had to keep these man uh, or get these and keep them in my collection because I thought that these were extra dope um, you know a lot of people wasn't feeling them but you know I like them so that's one pair uh, the next pair 
I know a lot of people probably gonna give me flack for them because it is a women's shoe, but I give it away by saying that I like rose gold, so you know, so you should already know what it is. So it was the fearless uh, pack, but I had to get I love them. Love rose gold, man. So as you see, I still I, I haven't worn them. Still got the tag. I mean, I, uh, the shoelaces on. I love the color of rose gold. And just to have it on the Jordan 1, I had to get it. Even though it was a women's pair, I just was like, hey, I still gonna, I'm still going to get them. And so I caught them off of StockX. And when they had that, um, I think it was like that, if you, in December, if you buy, you buy a pair using, buy a pair of case using um, the Apple, uh, using Apple Pay, and then you get 20, you get $20 back. So I bought these, um, yeah, I think I had bought these in December and they came at the beginning of January. So that's why I'm putting these in here because if it wasn't for me to getting these, I was able to get $20 off on the Shattered Backboard. So that's why I'm including these in, even though I purchased them in December, but you know, they came in January. So that's why I got these in here, but this is a dope shoe. I'll probably keep these until, probably won't even wear those until like the next, to like the next fall and winter season. But yeah, man, those are the only two pairs of drawings I copped. And we almost done, guys, we are almost done. Told you it was a lot of stuff that I bought. Um, last I'm looking at the box, I got a few shirts. Um, shoe, shoe flannels and a few shirts in here and then, you know, the video will be done. So let me go ahead and hop onto these things real quick. All right, y'all, so I'm back. And let's get to these last clothing items. I got a few from Sneaker Politics. Um, I'm going to be in that boys, boys Club shirt. It's in my bag. I'll take it out in a second. But here's the actual Sneaker Politics shirt that I bought. Um, I had to get a uh, 100. Uh, I forgot how much it was for, for free shipping. I think it was 200. Which reminds me that I actually did buy a pair of shoes to go with uh to go with all this stuff so i'm gonna talk about these first and then i'm gonna go with the shoes that actually came with my sneaker politics order but you know yeah this is the one t-shirt that i got as you can see it looks a little bit lighter because of the light you know but it's a little darker mint green so this was size medium as well and um with being a boys club shirts I try to go a size up because sometimes, you know, accidents happen. Like with one of my shirts that I got last year, I actually got a small stain on it, so I tried to wash it myself. I know that was stupid. And, you know, washed it, put in the dryer, and of course it shrunk. So, of course, just in case for those situations happens, I'll start wearing them, start getting them in a large, or, you know, I can take them to dry clean it, and it'll be pretty decent, so which I should have did in the first place. I know somebody's going to play me in the comments, but... <clears throat> here's the shirt. Here's, here's the BBC shirt, so... As you can see, it kind of has a tie-dye effect on it. I just thought it was pretty dope. And it was on sale, too, so, you know, I had to snatch this up from Sneaker Politics. Like I said, this one's in a size large. As you can see in the B-roll from Bug. You know what I'm saying? It's a dope shirt. So, that's that. Let me go ahead and grab the kicks real quick. All right, I don't know how I forgot, you know what I'm saying, about these, but as you see the box, they're Vans, size 10 and a half. But I just thought that these were extra dope for looking at them. I, I forgot how, I think I paid, I think these were 90, I think. I can't remember, but you know, I just like how, they, I just like how they look, man. You know, with the zipper on the side and it was just a very, very dope kick that I felt like it was, it was going to go underrated, man. So, I had to get it. And that's pretty much it for my sneaker politics order. I think with, with these shoes, those two shirts, and I, have, I think I bought a pair, of, a pair of socks, I think. I can't remember. But it all came up to like $200 and like 3 or $4 so I could get the free shipping. So, you know. These were hella dope. I had to get these, man. You know, I'm starting to get into more into vans and, and chucks. So I was like, hey, I've seen these all day. I supposed to see the pods, I supposed to a picture of these. And so, went to the site and couple. So yeah, 
Now I'm finished with all, all shoes. So like I said, it's back to clothing. Like I said, you got the BBC shirt, the sneaker politics shirt. So next, I have not one, but I have two shirts from Urban Outfitters. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out real quick. All right, so I got two shirts from Urban Outfitters that are, uh, as you know, the Bodega Boys, these are Samara. I don't know if you can see them, so I'll probably put these in the B-roll. But this black shirt, course size medium. I thought that this was pretty dope to get. So, you know, I said it's starting to get a little warm from time to time. So, you know, had to step up on my t-shirt game, but that was the black one. And of course, this is the, this is the, uh, the gray one that I got. Pretty, they, these are pretty dope. So I had to, I had to, I had to get them. I had to get them. So those are two shirts from Urban Outfitters that were Bodega Boys. Actually, I think that's all the rest of my Urban Outfitter pickups. From the way it looks in the box, I have everything's left in this box is H H and M. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right. So my first first pickup. <clears throat> Is these black slim jeans, you know, they're a size in the waist are 34, length is 32. I think I paid like eight dollars for these jeans. I had a five dollar coupon, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I was like, hey, I might as well, you know what I'm saying, cash in on that. And I needed another pair of black jeans anyway, you know, black jeans pay quick, so I had to cop another pair. Um, the next item that I have. Of course, I have to take a lot of this stuff out of the box because these, this big old box that's down here, it was for my Chelsea's. So I just was like, you know, hey, I'm just going to, with all I ordered, I'm just going to dump them all into one box so I won't have to be scrummaging around. But I forgot I had three pairs of shoes that were, you know, in the closet. So, but yeah, man, back to, back to uh, the clothing. You know, just a simple Coca-Cola hoodie. Um, I just thought I'd just pick this up, you know, because I needed some more hoodies and crew necks, so this was this. I wonder how much I pay for this one. Oh, well, uh, it doesn't have on tag, but, um, yeah, this one's a size medium as well. It seems, seems kind of heavy, so it might keep me a little bit warm if I have, like, just a simple t-shirt on under here. So, you know, it's not too light of a material, but not too heavy. Seems like just right, so, you know, if it's, like... 60 or 70 degrees, you know, this should, you know, keep me warm um, here in the Georgia weather when it's fickle. So that's that. I also have, oh, down to the last two items, which are, they're both H and, yep, they're both H and M flannels. You know, I this one thing that, you know, I'm trying to get back into as far as, you know, Long sleeve shirts to get into the flannel game, you know, so this one I forgot I think I paid about fifteen, I think, for this. For this well both for both of them put together. You know, it's pretty dark. I know you may not be able to see it, but you know, I put some, I put them in the B-roll, man. But, and then these were dope colors, man. I had, you know, H&M had a sale, so I had to, I had to get what I can get quick. And these were the only two ones that, you know, that were, that, that weren't, you know, out of stock. So, you know, I had to, had a couple, man. So, all right, guys. I know this video is for I made this video go any much longer. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section section down below uh you know the items that you which items that you liked uh which ones that you didn't like and also just let me know in the comment section down below of this video let me know what you thought of this video and um if you're new to this channel you know my name is sean j says you know i said i do i do clothing sneakers uh take videos uh reactions just about almost everything i got more content also more things coming soon and um if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video, man. It's your boy Shonda says, I'm out.